Hi guys, I'm back at the local creek and I'm going to show you guys how to catch crawdads with the dip net today. So right here I have a little butterfly net, I got it for a couple bucks. And uh, the first step in catching these crawdads is locating them. So you want to find is uh, find a local creek and then uh, don't be uh, dissuaded if you don't see any crawdads immediately because normally they're under these large flat rocks. So right here is a nice example of what you want to be looking for. So there's kind of some space for the crawdads to live under. So uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab this rock and lift up very gently. Try not to spook the crawdads. And we'll see if any is here. And there's a nice crawdad. I don't know if you guys can see this. But he's right there and he just darted off um, into those woods. But uh, let's see. I'll go ahead and pick up this rock and uh, see if I have any better luck with the crawdads sticking around. Just really gently moving it up. And there's a little guy here, and I'll just go ahead and show you guys how to catch him. So what you want to do is the crawdads always shoot backwards. So you want to place your net right behind them, right where their tail is, maybe like six inches back. And then take your hand or a stick and gently like kind of prod in front of them, and they'll shoot back right into the net. So I'm going to do that here real quick. And then they shot right back into the butterfly net. Yeah. All right, guys, so I found a little bit bigger crawdad right here. I'm going to go you, show you guys again how I catch them. So once I locate them under the rocks, again, you want to stick this uh, little net behind them and take your hand or a stick and just prod real gently in front of them and they'll get spooked and shoot back into your net. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick. And then you lift up real quick. And uh, this is a little nicer crawdad. I'll go ahead and take him out for you guys. And again, I always just grab them right behind the pinchers like this. So once you got them behind the pinchers, they can't pinch you at all. So I kind of have uh, their pinchers held to their body right here. So now they can't move their pinchers back to pinch you. So you just kind of grab the base of their arm and push it against their body and they can't move it back. So uh, this is a nice crawdad. Be good for catfish and bass. Um, I hope you learned something here today and uh, good luck fishing.